Yes, lads, welcome back to another custom tactics video on the channel. Today, we are taking a look at a 4-3-3, the fourth variation. Let's get into it. So, diving in with a defensive style, we do leave this on bands. However, it is a brilliant pressing formation, especially this stage in the game. So, if you're losing, don't be afraid to whack it on press after possession loss. Wouldn't recommend you start on it, though, because player stamina at this time of the year is not the best. So, you will be absolutely knackered come the end of the game they're putting on a super sub and they'll just run through your back line width we leave on 40 depth we leave on 50 um the reason for this is that while we test out a couple of these formations i'm not going towards the 60s and the 70s i want to build off a solid defensive base first and then see what we can get away with so 50 is perfect especially for this stage in the game when we're all kind of learning just leave it on 50 build up play balance chance creation is direct passing i've not moved away from it just yet just because i know how it plays a lot from last year but we are trying out things like forward runs and i'll let you know how we get on with that but at the minute direct passing stick with that with we whack this all the way down to 40 so the reason for this i don't know if you guys have realized in the start of this year's game at the moment is it, when you give the passes into the midfield they can be a little bit isolated and no passing options are available at all, which we've tried to correct in the instructions. So stay tuned for those. Players in the box, we leave on five corners, one free kicks, one. We're just limiting how often we do get smashed, smacked, walloped on those counter attacks. Instructions. But before we dive into it, if you haven't already, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, we're going to be reviewing a couple of your guys' tactics and some of some of the other tactics on YouTube. So if you see a couple of custom tactics on YouTube that you want me to take a look at and make a video on and just to give them a test, leave them in the comments down below and I'll check them out. Um, but diving in with the instructions, the striker, stay central, get him behind, that is all. We don't have stay forward on. He's work rate to keep him up there anyways. Just stay central, stay in behind, get it. Stay central, get him behind. What you're looking to do with this guy, you need a bit of pace. Someone like a fatty, you know, someone like a Darwin. I love the Darwin example already. Um, but yeah, you want a fast striker. Or someone that's like a Haaland who's lengthy, he's a beast. There's so many different strikers you use actually at the start of this game. And the two wingers, the left wing and the right wing, are both on the same tactics. Come back on defense. They're going to defend when you don't have the ball. Get into the box for crosses. And here's the biggie. Come short. So what they're going to do, one of the biggest issues I've faced so far this year is isolation in the midfield. And then having these guys come on short, they are showing for passing options, which is so good. Just put it on. I've never really used come short that much in FIFA 23, but I thought I'd try it in this one. And it's really nice, especially while the stats aren't the best. You can't really ping passes too far. It's nice to have those close passing options. You can play that tick attack of football, which I hope is the matter this year. But um, yeah, come short, give it a go. You'll love it. Um, the cam is just stay forward, get into the boss across. You just want someone that's technical, like a Pedri, um, like Musiala, someone that's got a good creator, good skills, good dribbling, um, someone that's going to pull the strings for you. The two center mids, I like to have one a CDM, so Rolfo. A, who is a public gang midfielder, winger slash fullback, um, and just on stay back while attacking, cover center. And then the other center mid, then it's also stay back while, while attacking and cover center. As you can see, we're trying to build a solid defensive base before we try all these weird and wonderful formations. I think just winning games and being comfortable with the way things are is the most important part at the start of this game. Both the fullbacks are stay back while attacking and overlap. Although, if you are losing or if you play five backs, you can do up and left on the D-pad and that'll send you four backs forward and it helps a lot with creating that extra width. But leave on stay back while attacking and overlap for the most part because you've got that control. You can turn it on, you can turn it off with the D-pad. Goals keeper is comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. They'll save you now and again. The finishing mechanics are a bit sus at the minute. Well, I'm a bit sus with the finishing mechanics. Um, but we are getting there slowly. And then the strikers, and um, strikers, I wish they were strikers. The center backs, touch them again. Same as FIFA 23. I will find you. If you touch center backs, I will find you. Um, but that's pretty much everything. That's the 4 3 3 4. It is 
my favorite formation i've tried so far obviously it's only been out for like three days so it's very limited on what i've tried we've smashed out a lot of games with this and i think at the start of the game it gives you a lot of good balance but leave in the comments if you use it and let's dive straight into some gameplay Cheers. yes lads welcome back we are now in rivals as you can see we are playing a full-on sweat team as we progress the divisions quite a bit so we are going to be playing some tough opponents especially on the early access in theory anyways he might have just spent every penny in his bank account on the team but there's nothing wrong with that if you do that um it just means that i'm a lot scared of your team before we even kick off nice nice i move the goal over <laughs> then i need to stop waffling get into these uh tactics and let's get moving but he's got that madison that's the first time i've played go on play the pass run ansu oh perfectly timed let's go ansu fatty i have to let that one go he was catching me um but yeah i've been smashing the green time shots just making sure you know we're trying to do them every single time we go forward um getting into a good position this guy's bust his controller up, I think. Oh my god, that is still struggling with the finishing. Let me know if you are too. Beast. <laughs> oh, what a chop a tuny bit. That's why I'm timing everything because. I can't score when he's not. When he's lit. Oh, these, these cross body shots, man. I think near post may be the meta this year. I missed so many at the far post. So many. This guy got a top team. I think he's overreaching with his passes. And that's why we got those wingers on coming short because the amount of times I was finding in the early stages that I wasn't having many passing options. There it is, Roppo, 2 0, and that is the game. Honestly, the come short option on the wingers is like elite tier, and I definitely recommend you get it set up. He might not quit. Um, but I'm giving you the old spiel, but he has he has quit because he has quit so soon. I'll give you some squad battle rewards. Let's get into it. Yes, lads, rank two squad battle rewards. We just played it quite, I wouldn't say casually, but we played at a lower level, just uh, trying to get used to the mechanics. Um, so we have ended up with a with a couple of packs. Let's just get into them. So we've got a premium gold players pack, which will open first. So this is what we had Musiala in last time. Who did we get? Is this an inform? Who's this? We're going to inform. It's our first inform of FIFA. That'll do. Probably discard, but it's 10k at the start of the game, which is insane. And nothing else. Do we only get two rares in there? Oh, okay, Juan Basaka as well. Which isn't too bad. We'll put him up for 1.5. See if he goes. The informs are big in this pack. 10k, you know, we take it. The informs are so sick this year. Um, that's a discard inform. And we'll definitely use that 10k. Um, actually, let's send it to transfer list and then store the rest. And finally, the 50k pack. Come on, pay us out something. It's German centre back. Who's this? Real Madrid. Oh, Rudiger. Let's go. Let's go. That's Rudiger, right? Imagine there was a pack troll. I would have cried if that was a pack troll. But that could be, should be, stupidly expensive, right? Who else in the pack? Renato Sanchez as well as an expensive one, probably. And Paqueta. Is Paqueta expensive? No. Rudiger is the main one. What was we what were we saying? Yes. 85k. That's dub. And then Renato is another 20k. Dub for squad battles. Leave in the comments if you open your squad battles rewards. Cheers. 